Hello my Leos and welcome to your February 2019 reading. In the center of your reading we have the Ten of Pentacles which could represent a Virgo. Your challenge position we have the Four of Cups which could represent a Cancer. At the bottom of your reading we have the Seven of Cups in reversed which is the sign of Scorpio. In your recent past, we have the Two of Cups reversed, which is the sign of Cancer. At the top of your reading, we have the World card. In your near future, we have the Two of Wands reversed, which is an Aries. In your role or attitude of the situation, we have the Justice card in reverse, which could represent a Libra. In the role or attitude of the others on the situation, we have the Hanged Man. In your hopes and fears, we have the Chariot, which could also represent a Cancer. And as your final outcome card, we have the Six of Cups, which is the sign of Scorpio. We definitely have a dominant Cancer sign here. And believe it or not, the Cancer reading, if you want to go back and check that one out, was very similar to this, only if you're dealing with a Cancer. If not, then, you know doesn't resonate. Uh, if this is about love, I like to do a love reading and then I also like to do a general reading because the cards could mean so many different things in so many different situations. So I'm going to read love first, I'm going to pull a romance angel, and then I'm going to do a general reading and I'll pull a couple of fairy cards and we'll do clarifiers as we need them. Uh, but if this is about love, I feel like, so in your past, we have this two of cups. So there is a recent breakup here. I feel like you felt this person was your, you know, your person. You felt like there was going to be marriage, accomplishment, home buying, children, everything that, you know, comes with the Ten of Pentacles here. But your challenge card, the Four of Cups, which is what stands in your way, you either attempted to contact this person because you felt strongly about it and you got rejected, or they weren't interested, or just sad. You're sad about the decision that you made with the Seven of Cups in reverse at the bottom you know, when it's in the upright position, you have a lot of options. But when it's in reverse, you've kind of made your choice. And maybe you didn't pick the right cup. There's a lot of cups in that card. It also represents your dreams being, you know, destroyed. Or not getting your dreams. With the world card at the top, I think that this person maybe you thought was your world. And that goes back to the Ten of Pentacles. You thought that they were your everything. And now you just don't know what to do now. You, let, you, you possibly with this justice card in reverse, you know, maybe you feel like you made a bad decision. So you're not doing anything right now. You're just not doing anything. You're just kind of standing there and you don't know what to do. The hangman in the roller attitude of the other people in the situation, though, tells me that this person is thinking about you. They are thinking about the situation so much that their head's going to explode. <laughs> um, I al always notice in this card that this hangman has his hands behind his back. So I kind of get the feeling that maybe you never knew what this person was going to pull. Like, you know, they always had something behind their back. Uh, they could have pulled out flowers or they could have pulled out, you know, a knife. I'm um, not saying that they did, I don't know where that came from, but I'm just saying that you just never knew what they were up to. In your hopes with this chariot, uh, I think that you, you're hoping that, you know, this person's going to come back in, your knight in shining armor there, and they're going to rescue you and take you away, and you all are going to live happily ever after. With the Six of Cups as the final outcome, you are going to hear from this person. But the Six of Cups is more like a friendship kind of level thing. So I think that you'll hear from this person and maybe you'll get, you know, be able to start speaking 
um, communicating. Maybe he is going to give you flowers. Look at that. I just noticed this little boy is giving this little girl flowers. And I, and I said that here. Maybe they're going to give you some flowers. The four of wands in reverse. You know, it just represents that the, um, the foundation, the stability is uh, on shaky ground. It's, it's, not, it's not happening right now. Nothing's happening right now. Matter of fact, I think that you're just standing there just trying to figure out what to do yourself just as well as this other person. Like, should I let it be over or should I try to contact them and see if we could you know, make this work? Let's pull a romance angel before I clarify because I'm kind of curious what the romance angels have to say about the situation. I'm unsure. I'm going to clarify the Six of Cups. Give your relationship a chance. So yes, work on your partnership. Maybe somebody needs to make a move here. Maybe you're just kind of standing here and not doing anything, but if you put a little bit of effort into it, maybe you'll get this person back. I see two sevens on the board. You know, it's a lack of confidence, sevens. Somebody needs some confidence here to to do something because this other person's thinking about it they're thinking about you i'm going to pull one more and we're going to clarify the six of cups and then i'm going to go into a general reading one more romance angel please for this reading that's on the table for leo february 2019 what do you have to tell my leos show me what i need to see card please you're not getting it to me there it is boom forgiving and learning as you release and heal the past you exp experience more love in your present moments hmm. so i'm going to say that you probably need to learn from this possible mistake that you made and um forgive forgive the other person or forgive yourself and start to heal let's clarify the six of cups before we move on to general reading why is the six of cups the final outcome here the six of cups does represent someone returning to the past can i have one card please for the six of cups is the final outcome for Leo. Show me the card that I need to see. Show me the card I need to see. Queen of Cups. Hmm. So that's a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. She's the, I call her the mother. That's Cancer again. Got a lot of Cancer energy in this reading. Um, she's caring. She's passionate. She's intuitive. She's creative. Maybe you want to go back to a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. You're just reminiscing about this person. Maybe this person is helping you to heal. Maybe it's a friend. It's going to be, you know, significant for you. All right, they're not giving me anything else. I'm going to move on to the general reading. Maybe you'll pick up something there. Okay, so as far as the general reading goes, there's a lot of stuff going on here. If this was career related, I see that you have reached the top of your career, the end of your cycle, the end of an era you have you have accomplished a lot you're at the top of the chain and maybe you were bored and wanted to change you definitely left a job maybe you started a new job that lady is like walking through that reef there to into a fresh start but the future doesn't look good at this new job. He's looking at the future and he's like, ah, oh, this just doesn't look good. 
And in your role, we have, you know, poor judgment, poor decision, justice in reverse. Somebody around you, this is the role or attitude of other people is just waiting. They're just waiting. I'm just going to stay right here on this pole and I'm going to wait. Hmm. The hopes or fears, you know, you hope that you're going to move forward, have victory with this situation. The Six of Cups represents going back to the past, though. So I feel like you made a bad decision and you want to go back to the job. Maybe you miss this person, this Queen of Cups, Cancer Place, you Scorpio person. You just don't feel happy. You just don't feel happy. I made a wrong choice. All right, let's pull a fairy card. The world card could represent, the world card is an ending, but it's a good ending. It's usually, um, you know, it could represent changing house, a graduation, a retirement. Maybe you retired and now you're bored. You just don't know what to do. So you're thinking about traveling to go see some friends. Fairies, can I have a card to further clarify this reading that's on the table for the sign of Leo for February 2019? Patience, please. What you're asking for is coming about. Have patience as there are unseen factors that need to occur first. So whatever it is that you are wanting, it's coming, but you do need to wait. So maybe it's not going to happen for you in the month of February. With two sevens, maybe it's July. Two fours on the table represent changing of a home or wanting to change a home. Maybe somebody's trying to move here, but they just haven't found the house that they like. Your desire is within reach. Have faith as everything is working in your favor. So, I mean, there are two really strong cards there that, that are saying, um, you know, everything is happening. Just relax hold on. Don't try to control things. I tell people that all the time. Let life just happen. If you try to control things, then it only leads to frustration. Okay, I'm going to leave that there, Leo. Thank you for watching. Good luck and happy February.